because that's um, a very interesting dream element. So let's talk about teeth. Yeah. So teeth, just as an overview, I, we, we've um, I've already touched upon this, but it's um, the ability to chew, chew something over. So, and, and that's um, the ability to process that which you encounter, usually through your experience, your sense experience of the world. Um, and it's also your ability to divide so that you obviously we have our teeth at the back whereby we chew things over and we have our teeth at the front where we, we cut and bite food off. And, and that's often about that division of this into that, like the, the uh, right from wrong, it is this, it isn't um, that. Um, and so it relates to kind of wisdom in perception about chewing things over and about coming to decisions about what things are and aren't. That's often what teeth have to uh, have to do with. Now, I've had a few people say to me on the uh, on some interpretations or asking about interpretations, what does it mean if your teeth are falling out or if you have crooked teeth yeah. or if there's something that is um, brought to your notice about your teeth in your dream? That is the um, act, is the reality or the fear of losing the ability to do those things. So uh, it's the inab inability then to process that which you had in your sense experience. Maybe something's happened in a relationship and you just can't work out what it is. Um, that, that would crop up as like your teeth falling out in a dream. Um, or it could be that I just don't know um, how to discern this thing. Is this thing right? Is it wrong? Should I take it? Shouldn't I take it? Um, it's uh, th That would also be, uh, the inability to do that would be something to do with um, that's wrong in your, your teeth. Um, bits stuck in your teeth would be something to do with a situation which you have chewed over that's still there and that might be causing you pain or discomfort or reducing your ability to chew over something that you're trying to chew now. That, that's kind of some of the things that we see come up around uh, a teeth. And teeth falling out is a particularly common um, dream symbol, actually. And, and it's, a, it's a bit like a tsunami. A tsunami is a fear of being overwhelmed by something in the world. And teeth falling out is a fear of not being able to process something which has happened or is happening. So what happens if you dream about someone drilling your teeth when there isn't anything wrong with them? Ah, that's interesting. Now, if there's nothing wrong with your teeth, then it means your ability to, to, to process um, your life is as fine as it is. But someone is drilling them. So that could be to do with uh, somebody is trying to get into your ability. They're questioning, they're probing, they're drilling down into it. Um, and it's going to cause damage. So you've got to kind of got to be careful um, about that. The other thing it might be is it could be a play on words. Somebody's drilling your teeth, which means somebody's trying to kind of program the way you chew things over. Um, like you you get drilled in the army to do to tra be trained in certain things. But this drilling is not healthy because your teeth are fine. So in either way, it would be to say, it would be to put up a resistance and say, God, I'm not gonna accept either somebody probing the way that I do things because my teeth are fine, or it would be to say, oh, look, I'm actually not gonna listen to this voice which says I must do things this way, that way, the other way, because actually you've given me the equipment I need to um, chew things over and discern right from wrong. So what, in, in whatever the dream is, is about, that will give you a context as to what it's pointing towards. So what you do, and, and can I just add this, um, if you have a dream about your teeth falling out or crooked teeth, um, the thing to do then is to, to go to God and actually say, God, I pray for wisdom. Because yeah. God says, if you pray for wisdom, and you ask for wisdom, I will give it to you. And so it's to go to God. If you have crooked teeth, it means you can't chew over a situation um, that's happened um, or you've perceived something wrong um, in a relationship. So um, the, the time then is to go to God, if you've got any of these things and say, God, I pray that you you help and you give me wisdom and you, you give me the ability to see the situation yeah. the way you see it. And it's interesting because we speak about teeth being wisdom and the yeah. ability to chew things. And it's interesting because you did a study on wisdom yeah. and um, you did a study on what exactly wisdom was and what exactly it was that when 
um, Solomon asked for wisdom, yeah. what he was asking for. So if you just share a little bit about that, that'd be quite an interesting. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one when it comes to wisdom and discernment. And it's, it's to do with um, Solomon um, when he becomes the, the king over all Israel, succeeding um, to the throne after David dies and, and we all know that the, the dream where God comes to him and asks him what do you want and he says I want I'm wisdom I'm like a child I need wisdom to govern such a great and mighty people and, and the meaning of the wisdom there is to listen with the breath so um, it's a funny thing because we've we've been talking about breath and we'll talk about ears later but but it's um, to to be able to perceive and hear what's really happening in a situation in the spirit. It's actually a spiritual discernment in any situation that, that you're involved in. Um, and it's interesting as well, in, you were just talking about asking for wisdom, that's James 1 verse 5, which is like the absolute go-to um, scripture for me when I don't understand something, which is a lot, a lot of the time. <laughs> um, but uh, that word in the Greek that's used there for wisdom also means clarity so um again it's not an abstract understanding of something it's a clarity about a situation about the way something is it's those teeth discerning this from that biting being incisive we even talk about well that was an incisive talk it really kind of got to the heart of the matter it saw things in a much deeper way than just somebody being very superficial so that realm of wisdom is to do with being able to perceive spiritually um, listen spiritually and, and it kind of manifests as well actually now I know I have clarity on what is right and wrong in this and then that obviously can affect the, what you do about it and it's interesting because um, I just wanted to bring in um, chewing as well mm -hmm. um, and, and an interesting thing about chewing now um, when we chew bread it's chewing the word of God if you dream about chewing bread in a dream uh, or baking bread it means it's, it's about the word of god um and so one of the things that i know about chewing is actually uh, most of your bread is digested in your mouth because there's something called salivary amylase it does it's not in your stomach at all and so actually the best way to chew bread is to chew it over chew it over chew it over and chew it over mm. and so um, chewing the word of God is it's it's a good thing we I've done something called Lectio Divina where I sit and I let the Holy Spirit breathe onto the word and bring it to life for me so um, and but you think about the word of God you chew it over that's the thing you're thinking about that's the thing you're dwelling on and so um, that was just something I wanted to add um, chewing the word of God um, you need to just chew it and chew it and chew it and it's the only way to understand the word of God is to keep chewing it and, and asking God for wisdom to understand his word. That, that's interesting, isn't it? Because <clears throat> we've talked a lot about the more negative meanings of um, the mouth and teeth. Um, but in that sense, it's actually necessary. The digestion of the word starts in the mouth. You, you, if you just swallow it straight, you actually can't like even inc incorporate it. It, it wouldn't it kind of digest, pass, yeah. pass straight through you. Yeah. You have to meditate on the word. Um, and particularly, I suppose, if you dream of eating bread, but often um, if it's cake, that like a, a not um, in, in an indulgent way, not that it speaks to an indulgence, but that is tasting something really, really delicious. I mean, we've had dreams about uh, cake and chocolate cake. Go on, you and say. Oh yeah, no, I had a dream the other night about little pieces of cake, and um, I found God saying it's about tasting and seeing my goodness. And obviously, I, I didn't want to scoff the whole cake, but there were a whole lot of cakes on a table, and I was at this competition, this cake judging competition, and. Um, but it wasn't like in a negative way, but we were just tasting cake from different places. Um, and um, I felt the Lord say to me, what it is, is about tasting and seeing that I'm good. And I want you to remember the things that I've done in your life are good. Um, I want you to remember where I delivered you in this situation, mm. where I did this thing in your family, in this situation. And so sometimes cake can be a positive thing yeah. and it's tasting and perceiving the Lord's goodness. Yeah. And I, I felt that's what the dream, obviously if you're eating a whole big chocolate cake and it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a greedy thing in your dream, then it could be speaking about um, 
being greedy or devouring the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I think in the sense, it was little pieces that were very delicious and um, it was just perceiving God's goodness. And then it's interesting, even cake as, as a metaphor, we, we, we bake, we like to bake in this this, <laughs> in this house. And, and, and cake is similar to bread, um, but it has a sweetness and it has um, quite a lot of a fat in it. So it's, it is that experience of the, the like the word of God, but also with um, the, the fat of like the prosperity of actually kind of having seen it and the sweetness of the experience. So if a cake is about tasting, that, that can be what it's, um, what, what it's about, which is an interesting thing about uh, mouth.